Hi, I'm Shannon Campbell, Dean of the College of Fine and Applied Arts, back with our next weekly vlog installment. And I'm really excited this week because I have a very special guest. And my guest today is Kaylee Morales. Yes. Hi. Hi, Kaylee. Hi, how are you? Um, I'm doing well. And one of the things I would like to do, we're just going to have a conversation mm -hmm. because Kaylee, you are a freshman. Yes. And it is the third week of September. Yes. So that means that you are really new to the university, yeah. really new to the Boone community. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to make it a point to really get to know someone who is new to our community mm -hmm. and just so that our viewers can find out what it's like or remember what it's like mm -hmm. um, to be a freshman in Boone. This is yeah. such an exciting time. Yes, it is. And so one of the first things I'd like to talk to you about is your current major. Okay. Um, and that is digital journalism. Yes. And what interested you in digital journalism? Where? How did you come to this major? Okay. So. Uh, my mom wanted to do digital journalism, but she had to make a choice because she was a single mom. Mm. So she had to make a choice. Do I take care of my kid or pursue my dream as a journalist? She decided to take care of me and forfeit her dream for me. Mm. So I decided I'm going to take this dream. And I was inspired by Robin Roberts of Good Morning America as well. Yes. I looked up to her so much in many different ways. I was like, I want to be like her. She's right. always like so positive on the screen. And so I took my mom's dream but also my own dream to be like robin roberts and just made it my own and doing digital journalism so it's not necessarily about moving forward your mother's dream but you really have a dream of being a journalist mm -hmm. telling stories yes. now i know that you also said you're interested in investigative journalism mm -hmm. yes. what sparked that aspect of journalism so we in my house we're always raised of like unsolved mysteries, forensic files. Like that's like background noise. Like we go to a hotel, that's like what we sleep to. <laughs> so like we always be watching that. So like, it's just two things I love, journalism and investigating crime, mm -hmm. putting it together into investigative journalism. So are you curious by nature? Yes, very curious. You're curious by nature. And do you have a passion for um, the underdog or sort of telling stories that haven't been told? Yeah, I could, yes, mm -hmm. because like, you don't really know until you dive deep into it. Yeah. So it's like a very different aspect. It's like to know the nitty gritty of like what something is like, oh, that's interesting. Right, <laughs> yeah. right. And then what's also interesting is then being able to craft that story, mm -hmm. right? Because you're going to know things, like you said, you know these nitty gritty facts, mm -hmm. you know things that other people don't know. Yeah. But then you get to reconstruct the story mm -hmm. in such a way that it's digestible, within certain mediums. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I actually find that really interesting too. Mm -hmm. And I'm also interested because in you personally, mm -hmm. um, because I know you're from Wilmington, is that correct? Yes, Wilmington, North Carolina, let's go. <laughs> okay, so you're a beach baby. Yeah, beach baby, yeah, <laughs> yeah, beach baby. <laughs> what in the world brought you to the mountains? Okay, be honest, I hated the beach. What? Uh, okay, listen, the sand is hot. <laughs> This, the sand's hot. Oh my goodness, you need help. I do need help. I do need help, actually. But like, yeah, I was like, man, I'm just tired of the beach. I was here my entire life. Like, I was born in Georgia by the beach, moved here by the beach. I was just like, man, I'm tired of tourist season. But did you have to do a 180? Because you did a complete opposite. Yeah. It's just like, it's so different here. Because mm -hmm. like, I went to... Uh, New York State, not the city, New York State. Mm -hmm. And there's so many mountains. I'm like, God, this is so pretty. And I was looking at schools. I'm like, wait, this side has mountains. I'm like, ooh, because like, I knew I loved the mountains yes. from New York State. I'm like, wait a minute. So like, I wanted a totally different scene for my college experience since I was near the ocean my entire life. Yes. Let's make this part of my life the mountains. Well, good for you for being adventurous. Mm -hmm. And I can see that that investigative journalist curiosity. Yeah. I haven't experienced this, but I'd love to experience it. Mm -hmm. So I applaud your bravery. And, um, you know, there is something special about this place. Yeah. There is something special about these mountains and the people. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me, what has your experience been in the, the past, what, four or five weeks? Yeah, it's, it has not been long at all. What's but it like, been like being here? I love it. You honestly. do? Honestly, yes, I do. Like, 
I love looking outside and seeing different things. Like I look out and like, wait, I live here. Right. Like it's so cool. Like the people are very nice here. Like they actually care. Like in like the beach community, there's like, I'm not hating on them, <laughs> but like <laughs> sometimes a little bit questionable. Mm -hmm. But like here, like they're so nice and like they're so welcoming. Like different strangers, like oh my god, I love y'all. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's very nice here. And have you found that with the people on campus? Yes, you have. Yes, most Great. definitely. Yeah. What about your professors? I love all my professors. You do? Yes, I do. I yes. think that's the secret sauce for App State. Our mm -hmm. professors are top notch. Mm -hmm. Hands down, I think the very best mm -hmm. of the best are here. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I think the very best of the best are in this college as well. Mm -hmm. right? I, I know that the professors are our secret sauce to success and that our students like you are the lifeblood mm -hmm. of the college. You keep us energized mm. um and is there anything that you can think of that you would have liked to have seen done differently since you've been here Ooh, probably ask me like three months from now yeah, okay that. okay i haven't had much experience i don't I hate to say it but i don't know because like okay. i don't have that much experience yet like i can't really find the flaws that's no i right think now. that's great because the only reason i ask and if you're in this college, everyone knows I'm always saying, we're looking for these teachable moments. Mm -hmm. We're here to do better, get better. And when we know better, we do better. Yeah. That is just who we are. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm so thrilled that you're having such a positive experience yeah. because like I said, you're the lifeblood for us. Mm -hmm. um, you're the reason that we're here. Now, full disclosure, I met you actually before classes started. Yes. 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 So we were at we go way far. back. We go guys. way back. I mean, go like back. a month. Yeah. Oh, so far back. Yeah. And um, so I met you at our farm. Yes. My right? day. And our farm. I don't know if you, you know that's housed in this college. Mm -hmm. And you say farm day because farm day is for the honors college. Yes. So you're part of our honors college mm -hmm. cohort as well. Yes. What's it like being in the honors college? I love it. Okay, because like some people, like outsiders, mm -hmm. it's like, oh, the honors college. But like, I love it, honestly, because there is such a sense of community. Mm -hmm. We all have like the same drive. We all have like that, it's like that perfectionist idea, like, oh, we gotta go. Like yes. that, we have that drive. I'm not saying others don't as well, but like, we're more conscientious. We're like, oh, mm -hmm. we stress out about it a lot. And it brings out the best in you, do you think, being around mm -hmm. other people who yes. are like that? Yes. Or, okay. Yeah, because like we do have such as like a big group. So like we all work together, like we help each other out with like classes. We have like little like study sessions together. Oh, that's nice. Yes, I love our little honors college. Oh, you do? Yes, and you're I in do. a great cohort. Mm -hmm. Like your first year, do you, do you do that? Do you have like first year's honors cohort, second year, or are mm -hmm. you all together? So we live in Cone. And it's just the freshmen in Cone. Nice. And then there is Summit for the sophomores, juniors, seniors, or if they choose to live off campus, then they do. Mm -hmm. But I have met other um, honor students based on just like little events we've gone to. But yes, it's mostly like freshmen I'm with. So we all have like the same experience. We're all from like different areas. This is all new to us. Right. So that was really reassuring coming here, knowing, you know, I am away from home, five hours away from home. But there's other kids. There's a student, he's from Texas. Wow. And he came here and I'm like, what made you come here? Like, we all have like that same connection. We're here for the same reason and we're all going through the same thing. Right, that's great. Well, now a lot of freshmen don't get an opportunity to talk to the Dean of the college, No. right? Yeah. So what do you want me to know? What would you like to know? Well, about you or in general? Whatever, whatever you'd like to know. Oh my goodness, yeah. I have, I'm, I am like you, I'm curious by nature. Mm. And so I always have questions. Mm. And so I think the things that I would like to know um, and that are most pressing to me right now is, is the college a place that is welcoming to all? Mm. Um, I, I have my perception, but I'd love to know from all of the constituents in the college, um, is the college challenging to all students, mm. whether they're an honor student, or whether they have any sort of needs, um, they have different sorts of um, neurodiversity needs. Mm -hmm. Are we not only meeting, but exceeding the mm -hmm. expectations of all of our students? Okay. Yeah, those are the things that I think about. Those are the questions that I have. 
That's what drives me every day mm -hmm. is I'm very student oriented. Mm -hmm. Our students come first. I want to make sure our students have not just the best classroom experience, mm -hmm. but also an opportunity to put that what they've learned to practice mm -hmm. so that we have an experiential component to every program. So I want to know from you later, have you had an opportunity to apply what you've learned? Are you in the field? Um, are you changing the world? Are you making the world better by what you do? Those are the things that are really important, right? Yeah. Are, are we giving you the tools so that you can live a happy and a fulfilled life? Yeah, and I would say yes, you are. Yeah. Aww. No, like actually, yeah, you are. Like for real. Aww, yeah. Aww. Okay, yeah, no, we're are. having a moment. Yes, we're having a You're moment. You're getting to see our moment. Yeah, for real. <laughs> so yeah. that's those are the things that I think mm. about. Um, and I really will tell you, I am a servant leader. I tell everyone, I work for that. The people don't, they don't work for me. I work for you. Mm. I work for the faculty. I work for the staff. Yeah. Um, and so that's what drives me every day. So those are the things I always want to know. Mm. Are, am I doing a job that makes everyone feel like they're a part of this team and that what they do is vital because everyone is vital, mm -hmm. okay? So it doesn't matter what your title is, um, whether you are here to maintain the building or whether you are at a senior leadership role, I treat everyone with that same sort of deference, respect. Mm -hmm. I'm curious about people. I always wanted to be a journalist, but yeah. you know what? I want I wanted to be a um, a foreign correspondent. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Ooh. You know you, how you talked about how you have a passion for Japan, yes. Asian culture. I always wanted to be a foreign correspondent. Yeah. I always saw myself living abroad mm -hmm. more so than living um, in my home country. Ooh. Do you feel that way? Um, I mean, I would love to visit, mm -hmm. but obviously there is like the barriers, like language barriers, culture barriers. So it's like getting to know those different areas. Mm -hmm. but I would love to. Yeah. But like home is home. Yeah, home is home. Yeah. I would call Boone my home. Right. Yeah. Oh gosh, that's great. No, actually, yeah. That, yeah. Not Wilmington? No. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Sorry guys at home. Like, <laughs> sorry guys. You know, it's interesting you would say that because my executive assistant, her name is Jackie Hawk, mm -hmm. she did the opposite of you. Yeah. Grew up in the mountains went to school in Wilmington and she's constantly saying Wilmington is her home. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, no, it's not. But I get it. Yeah. It's like, like, this is my home. Mm -hmm. my, my people are here. Right. Like, this is where I find my true self. Right. Like, the best of my ability. Like, this is where I can grow, cultivate, learn more. Back home, I kind of like, when I moved here, I left, getting kind of deep, I left my past in Wilmington. That's right. So like this is a new experience, so I call Boone my home so I can grow more as a person, as an individual for what I'm doing. I well, call. welcome home. Thanks. <laughs> We're Thanks. happy you found your home. Yes, me too. And more importantly, you know what I think I'd like to do with your permission? Okay. Can we do a campus conversation each semester? Oh my God, I would love would that. Would you? And, yes. can we, and then I want to know next semester, we'll I kind of ask some of the same questions mm -hmm. and everyone will be kind of come along this journey with you. Perfect. Are you down for that? I'm down. Oh my gosh. Let's go. Yes. Oh my God. All right. Yeah. Well, you heard it here first. This is just the first of our conversations. No, we'll be no. back next semester. Yes. Next we'll semester. be back you know, next fall until you are, oh my gosh, I can't even think about it. Can you imagine me growing up? No, no, oh my God. And I'm all like, can't. guys, I'm graduating next yes, semester. Yes, yes. I'm oh, so posh. Oh. So <laughs> we'll be back each semester with an update. Awesome. Oh Thanks God, that's for fun. spending some of the time of your day with me. Yes, thank you for letting thank me so be much. here. It's been a lot of fun. Yes, oh, I've, had, I've had so much fun. Great. Yes. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. <laughs>